lose these. Don't lose what? You're not losing these. So, we are all packed up. We have sockets, we got drills, we got everything. That's blunt. That's no good. No wheel bearings. The Forerunner is running. We're going to get another engine. We don't have an engine. That's because we're buying another Forerunner. I have a problem. I do. I really do. So we got there. We got to looking at this other Forerunner, and the guy's like, yeah, it runs great. It has no title. So our goal right now is to build something cool. That's it. This is all beat up. We have it cut in multiple parts. Like, it doesn't have a windshield. This other one has all the doors. Body's in perfect shape. The transmission is stuck in two-wheel drive, but that's not a problem. We have a, a 4x4 transmission under here. Engine, great shape. 300,000 miles, a little high, but we have brand new gaskets because of this one, this engine. So, because of that, we are going to focus on getting a new getting this one tomorrow we're actually going to pull the rear axle out of this one and put it in the other one that's the only thing it's missing is a rear axle so we're going to get a tow dolly tomorrow uh, shag has one on the uh, other side of town we're going to pick that up we're going to put this rear axle on it go all the way back <laughs> i know it sounds like we're going ass backwards but I'm really hoping it's going to be worth it. We've put a lot of, uh, we've put a, we all together have put a lot of time and effort into this forerunner, but we want to build something cool. We want wontons and 40s is the end goal. Hey, that's pretty good. And we feel like this just isn't what we're going for. So we're <laughs> going to have a lot of spare parts. Um, this one will just be an extra parts runner. And I mean, it's just, it sounds like a, a, Better than what we're doing. So, here's to pulling out a rear axle. Dun, 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 dun. So we have everything disconnected other than the shocks. Um, we still have the bolts and the drag bars. We're cleaning off now. Uh, it's about 12 o'clock. Um, I'm coming back tomorrow really early, um, right before Tanner and Robert do. So I'm gonna be able to pull this out with the help of Shag. So once I pull this out, It'll be the next morning. So it's gonna be out right. Well, that didn't really work like I wanted it to, did it? Well, I have all the bolts out. <laughs> it sorta of did. Uh, we're waiting for Shag to get home. So that way he can pull the trailer up, lift it up high enough. So that way we don't have to worry about like taking off the tires, dropping it down on the jack, moving it out, moving it left, moving it right. Uh, Shag will pick it up with the <clears throat> tractor on the hitch all the way up to a safe position we'll turn it off roll it out roll the axle and wheels out load it onto a car dolly jack up the front end take the tires off and we will be out to pick up this forerunner So we just pulled the starter out of the blazer. Got the old one right there. So we're just gonna hop under here. The starter is snug right into this little hole here. And the transmission right here. Um, you actually have to loosen up this bolt here, this bolt here, 
this bolt here and drop the shroud that covered the I guess that's not really the shroud but it attaches to the transmission and then the two bolts that go into the starter and then two plug wires which are right here so with those out we're going to slide the new one in attach it uh, go ahead and mount it up and then put the finally put the shroud covers back in Starts right up. It's got wheels, but this one sure doesn't. So Shag is still working on this wheel bearing. We got one in. We still got to pop out the passenger side. We'll hop over there right now. Still got to pop this side out, but we're getting places. Get! What's up, buddy? What's up? You okay, man? Get him, buddy! Get him! Is the receiving no, no. cup broken? Is the receiving cup broken? Nah. I think it's a little bit sketchy. I think uh I think the boys need to keep going. We're gonna have to I think the boys need to keep going. We're gonna have to keep going. You know what this would you know what this would be good on? Tickety talk. Do we need a tickety talk? I think we need a tickety talk. They're bouncing. Look. So Brandon uh, won this round. That was loud as shit. We actually snapped the tool. Wow, you snapped this whole thing. Holy. <laughs> so that's the uh, that's the answer to that question. That ball joint's not coming out. Not coming out in a natural way, that is. Just like that, we got the other forerunner out. When it gets a little chilly out, uh, we gotta make a fire in the shop just to stay warm. Damn, heater don't work. Ba -ba -ba. So the new Forerunner is in. We uh, obviously have to get tires underneath of it. We got another one. It's just another one. It's it's just another one, guys. Don't worry. It don't don't worry. It's it runs. It drives. It just needs a rear axle and some tires. Uh, the inside is in better condition than the other one. It's just kind of a mess, but. Nothing we can't fix. So we're gonna hop to a time lapse of putting everything together.
So, there you have it. This is why we don't let other people work on our stuff. This is our RTF, and for those of you that don't know, it's a rubber gasket agent, and it, uh, usually you put it, like, you don't put this much, obviously. I mean, it was all the way on the insides, and it was just a mess. So, we're taking, the reason I'm taking the intake off is to get to the spark plugs on the other side. It's just a few bolts, nothing too crazy. Um, the spark plugs are not supposed to look like that. Get them in focus. There you go. They're not, they're not supposed to look like that. They're not supposed to look like that at all. So we're switching those out so that way we can have better firing, uh, it'll run better, it'll start better. We got the yellow tape off of the front and we got the rear axle in. Yes, we do. So